it go. You know you're looking at a winner, winner, so winner. Up there. It's so out there. You so not here. Hey, uh, hey. You see, yeah. we so up there. And we so out right there. there first. It really, the Spurs, uh, Becky Hammond being hired by the Spurs uh, kind of caught my, rocked my world because I hadn't considered Jackie and um, that's wrong. And, and when you start thinking of talent that's on your staff, why wouldn't you already have somebody? Jackie's capable of getting on the court. Jackie has great basketball background. Jackie has incredible relationships with the, with the players that we have. Um, Jackie does so many things knowledge-wise that, that she's, she's got a great acumen for the game. Why wouldn't she be considered for that? So when I thought of it, we were actually in Florida. And I had said, Jackie, would you consider being, a, being a, an assistant coach? And she said, you know, I would. So I called her dad up immediately and called James and said, what do you think? And he goes, I think it's brilliant. And we're excited to have her because she's, she's really – um, we're breaking paradigms for young women, but more importantly, we're adding more value to our staff. And that's the most important thing. So we're excited to have her be a part of that. The days of, of, of the traditional basketball model that says somebody comes through the ranks and they do this and then they do that. And then they become a, a, an assistant coach in college and they become a, a, a video coordinator in the NBA and eventually they become an assistant coach and they work their way up the ranks. And I think you're starting to see that change. Uh, Becky Hammond changes that. I think that um, you're seeing the NBA reach out to European coaches to come over and coach the Cavs. I think you're seeing um, the, the, there's a D-League coach that was a, that was a, a uh, that was a head coach of a D3 team and he became a head coach in the NBA because he scored a lot of points and you know he he passed the eye test for the Houston Rockets to make him the the the, the head coach there in, in in their Rio Grande Valley team and he did a heck of a job there qualified is qualified uh, experience doesn't really mean as much as it used to thinking out of the box means a lot um, you know who why would James Tipping think that a high school coach could come to Canada and have success as a pro coach? And we were 27 and 13 and a tough call away from a really deep run in the, in the playoffs. So we're hoping we're going to make that a little different this year with the right coaching changes and the right things we're doing. I hope it doesn't mean that there's, we're going to be the first one with a female head coach is what I hope it doesn't mean. I, I, I think it means that uh, James's vision from day one has all been about opportunity. It's been all about helping young people fulfill their dreams. It's been all about be us being examples in the community in Brampton. We spent 100 days this summer with our players in front of people in Brampton trying to touch lives and help community. There's a reason for that. We're serving our way to success and we're earning the right to have people come out and watch us. With all of that, you've got to break paradigms. You've, you've, you've got to break glass ceilings. You've got to do things for the right reason. We never trumpeted it, but we're the first professional sporting team in the history of North America to have somebody play in a turban last year. Wasn't there because he played in a turban, but we surely wasn't gonna let it stop him from playing. And it's important to us that we continue to do things that's right by the community, that when the opportunity has to, 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 to break a stereotype, we wanna do it. You know you're